You know, it's a great day. I'm really proud of, of our Bruins, but want to be able to say, you know, that San Diego State team did an outstanding job of fighting through the season. Um, you know, the entire staff and their pitcher, Erica Romero, has a lot to be proud of. Um, I'm most proud for our team because this is step one um, on our mission. You know, they, they came to play and, and we're on a mission to be able to not just, uh, you know, be the last team standing, but it starts with this first round of regionals, and I'm proud that they played their game. Um, this entire year for the last three years has been led by this senior class, so I'm proud to see... Uh, you know, both Allie and Steph and Delaney being a younger one, be able to carry on this tradition of being able to be the last team standing in 2015. Uh, right. I was just kind of just seeing pitches. I know she had, um, Erica Romero has pretty much thrown um, every single uh, game here. So, you know, we're just trying to be patient and try to see as many pitches for um, the bottom of the lineup that we can. And I just happened to, you know, connect on a, on a good pitch. I mean, no, we obviously we take that into account, but again, we're going in there, stepping in the box, just trying to stay within our zone. So that was our plan, to get in the box and be patient, knowing that she did have quite a few pitches behind her, and I think we did a great job of that. Getting 10 home runs uh, this weekend, how does this maybe hot streak compare to some of the other ones that you've had uh, this season? Um, I think just we're playing great softball as a team right now. So we're not necessarily looking for the long ball when we step in the box. We're swinging at good pitches and we're connecting. We're getting good peace and I think we're executing. We're doing a great job as a team. Question for Allie. Um, Allie, obviously um, a lot of pressure on you today for bringing the, the victory home, which you did. But talk about the overnight uh, preparations after the game yesterday, obviously some icing and getting all those physical things taken care of, but anything special with the coach, uh, uh, anyway, Perez and, uh, and uh, Lisa Fernandez to kind of talk about the, the next game? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, like you said, physically, um, we do have to take care of our bodies, so we do have massages and ice bath and try and get um, as much juice in our legs as we can. Um, so I think I did a good job of taking my, care of myself this weekend. I felt pretty good for day three. Um, and then, too, I mean, just mentally, Lisa and Coach, I always – um, just keep, you know, put in my head that, you know, it's a fight, be tough, stay tough, no matter what inning, no matter what pitch, you got to stay in it one pitch at a time and, and just be tough out there through seven innings. Okay. And let's see for uh, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie question. Um, again, uh, the, the bats always um, very, very uh, active. And again, um, long ball, uh, any special formula you guys are really putting, uh, as, he, as, as he said, 10 home runs in one weekend. Um, talk about the, the way the bats have been going. No, you know, we're just feeling great as a team. And I think, you know, against any opponent at this point, you know, there aren't, you can never put too many runs up on the board. And so that's our mentality every inning when we step in the box. You know, we're just, we're trying to win every inning as a team, whether that's taking balls, swinging at good pitches, just ultimately trying to throw punches, knowing that at any point in any game, anyone can come back. And so I think we did a great job of that this weekend. But we're not necessarily looking for that long ball. We just happen to be producing runs that way, and you know, it's good for us. Okay. And then for Delaney, um, uh, let's see. Um, question is on the infield. You've been very, very uh, solid. Uh, the, Thank the, you. Um, team, the team has really looked well, uh, done well in terms of supporting Allie mm -hmm. uh, this weekend. Uh, your thoughts on uh, the season and what you're going to be looking forward to in the Super Regional and then next season. Uh, yeah, you know, just defensively, yeah, we just have to get the job done. And Allie's doing her job in the circle, and we just have to be right behind her. Um, we just trying to, you know, kind of just be there for her, and she doesn't have to be perfect, and that's what we really try to um, hound on um, defensively. Um, as far as this um, this season, I think, you know, we're in a very good place, and I think we're, we're going in the right direction, and that's something that's very exciting for us. My last question for Coach. Um, and now the opponents, uh, the field is, as they say, getting really tight, just winding down, but super regionals. Um, the opponent uh, has been declared, uh, would you know that by now, Coach? I don't know, actually. Okay, we know it's I Missouri. I now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so in this week, uh, this period uh, leading up to um, the super regional, any special – um, items you want to go over, any special tactics? No, I think, I think the key is, you know, our goal has been from the start is to be able to play our best at the end. You know, they talk about things about peaking, and I think we experienced a lot this season to be able to get to where we are now. So it really, the opponent, we, got, we respect them. We respect the opponent. Um, the best news is they've put the work in during the regular season that we get to be here at our house. So I'm proud for that. Um, our goal, and I'm proud, actually, I'm probably the most proud that they just played their game this weekend. They played mm -hmm. their game. You got to see UCLA softball. The long ball can sound like 
all of a sudden, but they're very capable. They're great athletes. They're very team oriented. They'll do whatever it takes, and that's our goal. Whoever we play happens to be in Missouri, so we're excited about being able to get after that. But it's the first game and it's the first pitch, and we're just trying to play great softball when it matters most. Okay. Yeah. Um, for coach. Yep. Uh, having played Missouri earlier in the mm -hmm. year, what do you know about them that you're going to use going into this next series? Uh, you know what? I, like I said, re respect for the program in that um, they have been able to be a you know a, a team that's been in the top 25. Um, so that just simply means that they're going to be able to swing it and throw it and do the, all the things that you know you need to be um, a top team. For us, um, we played them in February, yeah, I believe. Mary Nutter, yeah, Mary Nutter. Mm -hmm. that's right. We played him in February, and, and then we, we, we played a great game that day. It was a great day. You know, we, we showed up, and we played and executed, and um, all of that is, is history. And now we come back, and we get ready to, to face them um, whenever the first day is. Uh, so, so we're excited, too, but I think they're going to put up a good fight, and that's, that's what we want at this point. We want to be able to be challenged so we can play our best ball, and I believe we're ready. Stephanie? On that, uh, obviously you had the three-run home run, but at any point were you thinking about uh, redemption for hitting into that double play? <laughs> I mean, you know, every at bat is a new at bat. So obviously I take into account what I learned from every at bat, but redemption is more so, more so just kind of getting in the box, trying to land on time, keep my hands back and, and see my pitch. But it, it's always good to, it feels good to get one back like that. Definitely. And for you and Allie, you had another uh, play at the plate. <laughs> <laughs> what happened this time? Was it framing no, it was or? Just, it was just a <laughs> little That's pitch. I've ever gonna those. <laughs> <laughs> now, it was a ball a little bit out of my reach, but, you know, regardless of that, it's trying to be quick to the ball. And I think Allie and I both do a, a great job of that, me being able to right off the ball hitting the dirt, being able to get a good jump on it, as well as Allie getting a nice break to the mound. And, you know, I think we execute that play fairly well. Two athletes. As two of the best athletes in the game. That's what you see. It's not normal in pitching and catching. You know, I mean, not to say, but, you know, it, I have to add to that just because I sit there and, you know, they come right in and that's not a play that you ever really want. But... They're so athletic, both of them. And I think that's a big part, which is surprising. You don't see that play. When the ball gets by the catcher like that, that run scores. But uh, she's quicker. She's very athletic. And then Allie as well. Um, so I'm, pr I'm proud that they can flip that into a positive. But we are going to work on that to make sure that's not a consistent play. You were able to turn a double play after having it busted earlier. What's it like to, to um, catch that on the hop and throw it over to Gracie? Uh, Gracie and I absolutely we work on those double plays and that's something that we really take pride in uh, we do, generally don't um, we, obviously we don't have a lot of double plays in the game so whenever we do, we do get to do that it's um, very exciting and it's very rewarding um, it's just once again it's just getting the ground ball by Allie and that's just that's her job to get ground balls and runner at first base however she got there we want to turn the double play and we want to get the lead runner out so that's really what we focus on and you know to get the second out at um, first base is just an, an extra reward Uh, one last question for our coach. Uh, uh, the supporting um, um, cast, the players, uh, Gabrielle Maurice, um, yeah. oh, uh, Alexis Bennett, continue to, to really show consistency and a very high level of play. Um, can they continue to produce that? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. You know, I think a big part of it is this team, they, they feed off of each other. You know, there's a confidence that um, they breed a confidence. There's an expectation level of, of being able to execute. And if they don't, they know that their teammates have their back. And that leads to, uh, it leads to a lot of fun. And that's our goal, to get out there and just play softball. And, you know, I'm very fortunate. You know, I credit, you know, my coaching staff to be able to get out, out, get out there and get the best. You know, we literally can get the top 1% in the game, and that's what, that's what this is about. So if we can get them to play their game, play loose and confident, then great things can happen. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.